Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to learn the steps on how we can create a virtual machine using Hyper-V Manager. Once the Hyper-V server role is installed and basic configuration is complete, we can start creating virtual machines. For beginners, creating that first virtual machine is the next logical step in the learning journey. A virtual machine is a virtual version of a physical server or client machine. Instead of using installation media to install the operating system directly onto physical hardware as was done in the past, you install the operating system within a virtualized version of that hardware. This allows you to run multiple virtual machines on a single piece of modern server hardware. Virtual machines are installed just like any other operating system on physical hardware. Hyper-V supplies the virtualized hardware equivalents, so the operating system within the virtual machine doesn't recognize that it is running in a virtualized environment. It functions exactly as it would on physical hardware. Now let's walk through the process of creating a Hyper-V virtual machine using the Hyper-V Manager GUI utility. First, let's open Hyper-V Manager. In Server Manager, click on Tools and select Hyper-V Manager. To begin creating virtual machine, right click on your Hyper-V host and select new and then click virtual machine. It will launch the new virtual machine wizard. On before you begin screen, click next to continue. Give the new Hyper-V virtual machine a name. In this example, I have given name win11-vm01. You also have the option to store the virtual machine in a different location from the default one set during the Hyper-V role configuration. If you choose to store it elsewhere, you can click store the virtual machine in a different location and use the browse button to select a new location. After specifying name and location, click next. In the generation section, you can select the VM generation. The choice between generation 1 and generation 2 is mainly based on the guest operating system you intend to install. Generation 1 VM support both 32-bit and 64-bit guest operating systems and use a BIOS-based architecture offering compatibility with earlier Hyper-V versions. Generation 2 VM provides support for newer virtualization features, has UEFI-based firmware and requires a supported 64-bit guest operating system. Keep in mind that the VM generation cannot be changed after the VM is created. So consider all factors before making your choice. In this example, I am going to select Gen 2 Virtual Machine. Click Next to proceed to the next screen. On this screen, you can allocate memory to the virtual machine. Additionally, you can enable dynamic memory which optimizes RAM usage on the Hyper-V host. With dynamic memory, Hyper-V uses the hot add feature to expand the guest operating system memory as memory demands increase within the guest. Dynamic memory helps to dynamically and automatically divide RAM between running VMs, reassigning memory based on changes in the resource demands. This helps provide more efficient use of memory resources on a Hyper-V host as well as greater VM density. When you select Use Dynamic Memory for this virtual machine, you can set minimum and maximum values for the RAM that is dynamically assigned to the VM. You can do it in the virtual machine configuration when a VM is created. In this example, I am not going to select dynamic memory. Click next to continue. In order for a particular VM to have connectivity to the network, you must attach a virtual switch that is connected. You can also leave a VM in a disconnected state as a connection to a network is not requirement for completing VM configuration. You can click the drop down menu and select the network connection you want to use. The virtual switch is created automatically when the network adapter option is selected during the Hyper-V role installation. Let me select this virtual switch to connect this VM to our network. Click Next to continue. The Connect Virtual Hard Disk screen has lot of options. You can assign only one virtual disk when creating a virtual machine, but you can create and attach additional disk at any time later. You can create a new virtual hard disk by specifying the disk name, location and size. Alternatively, you can add an existing hard disk or choose not to add a virtual hard disk at all. In this example, 
we are going to select create a virtual hard disk. The name is win11-vm01.vhdx and we are storing this virtual disk on the default location. Keep in mind, the default virtual hard disk size is 127 GB. You can change the virtual disk size as per your requirement. Click next to continue. If you choose to create a new virtual hard disk, the next screen will be the installation options page. While it may seem like the wizard will install an operating system in the guest, it actually won't do that at this stage. The option you select here simply attach the media as specified and set the virtual machine's initial boot order. The screen you see will vary depending on whether you selected a generation 1 or generation 2 virtual machine. Install an operating system from a bootable image file is the most common way to install an operating system in virtual machine. You need to have an ISO file of the operating system saved somewhere on your server. Simply guide the wizard to the location using the browse button. You can use the last option if you have a network based installation server such as WDS for a network based installation. Keep the install an operating system later option selected and then click next to continue. Finally, on the completing the new virtual machine wizard screen, review the virtual machine settings in the summary and then click finish. At this point, the virtual machine has been created and should appear in the Hyper-V manager. The wizard leaves the virtual machine in the off state, allowing you to adjust any settings that couldn't be configured during creation before starting the virtual machine. Right click on VM and select settings. Attach the ISO image file of the OS you want to install and begin the OS installation in the virtual machine. The installation steps are the same as you would follow when installing the operating system on a physical machine. We created a generation 2 virtual machine for Windows 11 guest operating system. In the next video, we will perform the Windows 11 installation in this virtual machine. That's all for this video on how to create virtual machine using Hyper-V Manager. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.